Hello everybody! Welcome back to Duo Sid Gamer! Today we're gonna be playing more Sonic, Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn! So guys, there is a brand new code in the game! And that code is guess what? My Valentine's! Because Valentine's Day is past, so yeah, that's obviously gonna be a code. So if you type in my Valentine's, you will get Valentine's Day Amy. I unlocked the skin too. It's like my first Amy skin. Yeah. So let's see. Let me scroll through my characters. And there she is. Whoa. By the way, Rusty Rose doesn't count as, a, as an Amy character. Uh huh. Yeah, that. Yeah, Rusty Rose doesn't really count because she's her own character. So, yeah, Rusty Rose doesn't count. Doesn't count as a reskin. Nebula Starburst Trail. You got the ominous Nebula Trail. Who's ominous Nebula? He does black suits. Okay, Friday. Okay, yeah, that's neat, but. Yo, this skin is actually really cool. I uh -huh. mean, it's got the pockies. Uh-huh. Whoa, she has her own little jump circle anime. She got, yo, look at that boost. It's like it's a, a heart. heart shape. And she has her own like little heart trail. Yo, that is so cool. I'm using my my cyber energy trail for for a for Valentine Amy. Ah, uh, okay. Yo, this skin is actually kind of drippy. Was was the cyber energy trail always exotic? Uh Okay, wait. Where, where did I get these indigo trails from? I don't know where I got those indigo trails. Trust me, I have no idea where I got those trails. Did you like? Get them on Macly or something? I guess. Okay, I'm gonna change back into Sonic. Go over here. There's the blue boy. Big regular Sonic. Yep. All right, so in the last video. Oh, hey. Hi. You want the Valentine's Day Amy skin. So in the last video, we continued doing more of Tails more of Tilda's quest. I'm still stuck on the leveling up one. So let's see if we can, you know, get get it completed in this video. Hopefully we'll get to Hilltop. Hilltop's not even in the game yet. I mean, Emerald Hill. Yeah, Emerald I didn't say Hill. Hilltop. Yeah, it's Emerald Hill, not Hilltop. There are completely different zones. Yeah. Okay, load it up. This loading so slow. Yeah. Oh yeah, and guys, if you guys want to try Sonic Speed Simulator for yourself, you can go to the bottom of the video and go to Roblox, sign in, and try Sonic Speed Simulator for yourself. Even though it will be pretty slow. Yeah, you'll be slow at first, but then once you level up, you'll get more stuff. Yeah, so I'm doing the Stronger Together quest, which basically means I have to get to level 150, and I'm currently 125, so I pretty much have to get like 25 more levels, which is gonna be nuts. And I'll get like so much stuff, I'll get 150. 5 XP, uh, I think 105 million XP, and I think I'll get, I think 3 million rings or 5, because if that, if that gives me that much rings, I'll be rich. Okay. I mean, I'm technically already oh, rich, here. but yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and really help the channel out, and don't forget to ring the bell button so that you won't miss a video from the Duo Sid Gamers. So go on that spring boost. Drop that, bro, bro. Oh yeah, guys. In in the past videos, I said that 
we were going to do a Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn Tips and Tricks video. And yeah, we are currently getting that ready right now. We're going to record it very soon and then edit it, do all the stuff that we have to do with it, and then we'll release it. So then you guys will know what to do with Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn if you've never played Sonic Speed Simulator in your life. Uh -huh, I hope this doesn't lag as much as last time. Yeah, the lag that I had was just nuts. I don't know why, though. Like, the com it's like the computer can't handle it. Maybe because maybe, maybe because the game is just too good. It's too, it's so good that computer, that the computer just can't help handle it. Yeah. Yo, what is go. lagging? It's lagging. No, it isn't. Okay. Here. Go here. Wait, 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 wait. I thought, I thought I saw something. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Huh? What? That uh, experience hoop. Oh, that. I can get it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep. Got it. Oh, what? Oh, the lag. The lag. The lag is it. Okay, there. Okay, okay, I'm going to... Wait. No, I don't... Okay. I, okay, I'll, I'll go to Green Hill and see if I can... No, I'll do some stuff over there. Okay, it's loaded up. Oh, it's taking pretty slow, but... But... Still, we're just waiting and going faster. Um, instincts, streaming instincts, instances, In instances, not instincts. instincts. Instances? What? I don't know why it means like streaming. It's not like like it's a like they're doing a video. I mean, we are recording, so it kind of makes sense. I mean, yeah, this is a video, so yeah. And also, I've heard that there's a that Tilda's workshop is also in Emerald Hill, so apparently, Tilda has two workshops. You don't have any trail equipped. Wait, really? Ah, weird. I thought I had my. Uh, my blue square trail. Eh, never mind. You don't have any trail equipped. That's weird. There's time trial free. Yeah, I'm just getting these rings. I think it, it's more. It's more. Okay, good. I'm gonna do it's more green trail time trial three. It's more better to use the boost in Lost Valley. Yeah, I think it, like, it feels more appropriate. And you immediately spawn at a checkpoint. Yeah. Man, Whoa. you're fast! Yep, I've been leveling up. I've been leveling up too. Go here, go here, here. Go now, me, me and my little brother have played Sonic Speed Simulator from the very start. So, we basically know everything that we're supposed to do. And if you guys haven't played Sonic Speed Simulator for yourself, you can just head to the bottom of the video and go to go to Roblox and log in, and then you will be able to play Sonic Speed Simulator for yourself. When when we first started Roblox, I actually found it. Yeah, sure. But yo, this is like this game is top notch. I'm doing loop these. Uh huh. Woo! Here's my shell of it. It only got a little revamp. But now it has a huge revamp. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go. Woo! Some, some people call Sonic Speechware Sonic Speechware Reborn. Yeah, for some reason. I, I mean, Sonic Speechware 2.0. Yeah, I mean, that's Technically, it's name, but it's real name is Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn. Yeah, but some people call it Sonic Sh Sonic Speed Simulator Shock, I think. No, Sonic Shock. Sonic I don't know why. Shock. That but... doesn't even make sense. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna do Time Trial Two. Let's go. How's, how's that gonna help you level up? How's this gonna help me level up? 
Well, it gives me rewards if I do... If it, it, it gives me rewards if I do the time trial. So, yeah, I'll, yeah. I managed to get the gold medal on this one, then I'll be able to, you know, get more rewards, get more rings, get more XP, maybe a trail and some chow. Oh, guys, remember, when you finish your, your, one of your quests, then always claim your rewards. Uh-huh, if you don't claim your rewards, then the quest will pretty much be useless. If, you, if you've if done something, you at least gotta get at least a reward. Well, it did help you level up. Uh-huh, and it gave me way more rings. Uh-huh, you have like 19, over 19 million. Yeah, but, yeah, but, that's way down the 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 boss battle. You need eight million rings just to get to it. Aha! Uh -huh. But the thing is, if I reach twenty million and I get to Emerald Hill and unlock the boss fight with at least more than ten million rings, I'll still have a lot of rings left. Okay, let me see Valentine's Day, Amy. No, the rebirthing is pretty much no use for me because, you know. Okay, just scrolling through my stuff. For some reason, the black trails that I got were pretty much useless. They were actually white trails. Yeah, I don't know why, but you know what's cool about this skin? It has its own, you know, unique stuff about it. It ha she has her own like styled boots. She has an, a heart shaped boot. And she has a heart shaped jump. Uh huh, a heart shaped jump ball animation. Which is super cool. And she has her own heart shaped trail. Uh huh. So basically you don't really need the you know, that other trail. Nebula Stardust Trail only gives you XP. Yeah, and the Sunshine Trail is actually exotic, and what was I thinking? I need to be Android Shadow. I haven't been, I haven't been that skin in quite a while, so I gotta be Android uh -huh. Shadow. I have seen some videos of people glitching to the Arsenal Pyramid, and, and they found like, this cool area and some people think it's a boss area where you fight with shadow uh-huh but either but either it could just be like a cool secret that will be released and we'll get to fight shadow in like an actual boss fight or something or maybe we'll be android shadow i am literally android shadow right now and by the way guys uh, before a few days ago, I think, like last Friday, the test servers went up for Speed Simulator Reborn, and there was a new version of Android Shadow, which is the green version. Yeah, but apparently that did make it into the game. Yeah, they, it only released in the test server, so, which means that it's not in the full, it's not in the actual main servers, it was only in the test servers. So, we could be getting green Android Shadow next week, or uh, the week after that. Oh, uh, guys, remember to like and subscribe. It really helps you kill and ring the bell. Uh-huh, but if we get Android, I mean, green Android Shadow, like, next week, I wonder what we're going to get the week after that, because <laughs> we have, we have, like, that glitched room in Arsenal Pyramid. When, when the red Android show releases, we'll have the spin, the spin, and creep Android shadows. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know if there's even a red version of Android Shadow. The orange one is the closest, is the closest version. So, yeah. Speaking of spin and creep, I actually kind of recommend you guys to go check the creepy headphones out. They make really good content. Uh-huh, and the old Tux Beach they did, they've done 
a lot of of our bounce glitches. Uh huh. Like all they did was just put invisible walls everywhere, but then, but now they put like an invisible dome around the map. And since leveling up re and getting to a really high speed is like incredibly hard in this new version of Sonic Speed Simulator, it's pretty much impossible. It's pretty much almost impossible to glitch out of bounds. I mean, we have the Arsenal Pyramid glitch, so it counts as going out of bounds, but getting, like, outside of the world? Yeah, that is... That that also counts as going out of bounds. And in the old Sox Speed Square, when, when Emerald Hill wasn't released, they actually glitched into Emerald Hill, and they found a beta version of the Lost Valley Obby. Aha! And speaking of the Lost Valley Obbies, like the Lost Valley Obby, it's gone. All the Obbies are now gone. There's no more Obbies and that stuff. All those Obbies were just useless. Aha! Uh -huh. They didn't give you any rewards. They, can't, they didn't give you anything good. The Obbies just gave me rings, and that was like nothing. Uh-huh, the only use for the Obbies was for new players. If new players don't really know what to do, they'll like do the Obbies, and once, but then once they're like at like three rebirths, they don't need it anymore. Uh-huh, so that's why they removed the Obbies. The Obbies are pretty much useless now. Uh-huh, and before in the old Speed Simulator, yeah, they made the Obbies, so then you can go to the world, apparently. So there were obby. Wait, okay. I wonder what happens if I go out to sea as Android Shadow. You, uh, you I, fall through the map? Okay. Does that, that was was supposed to happen? Okay, I, I guess that. No, that can't count. The thing is, I died when I went in there so i guess it doesn't count yeah it doesn't count yeah so i guess that didn't count as an out of bounds an out of bounds glitch on time i don't Sonic, want to create it in my chat on time Sonic actually oh, no. found the prime event aha uh -huh, the prime premiere event area sonic Hub actually found in the old Sonic Speed Simulator. And speaking of Sonic Hub, I also recommend that you guys check him out too. He is basically the king of Sonic Speed Simulator. I also recommend you to join his group, the Class Sonic Drip Gang. So all you need, to, all you guys need to do to join the Classic Sonic Drip Gang, which is Sonic Hub's official group, is to take the Classic Sonic Pledge that you will watch every that you will watch every video that Sonic Hub releases in full, uh -huh. and you'll also have to have Classic Sonic. But the Classic Sonic pledge is the most important thing. If you don't have Classic Sonic, that's fine, I guess. You can be regular Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Hub won't, won't really mind, but but. Yeah, still, you gotta have Classic Sonic to be, like, like an exclusive member or something. And, and their rival is the class, is the Chrome Metal Sonic Drip Gang. Uh-huh. The Chrome Metal Sonic Drip Gang was originally the Classic Sonic Drip Gang's ultimate rival, but now they're gone. Long gone. So, now the Classic Sonic Drip Gang does not have to deal with them anymore. Uh-huh. And the, the Quark Sonic Group Gang was originally the Metal Sonic Group Gang? Yeah, but then it was switched over to the Classic Sonic Drip Gang. You could say that the Metal Sonic Group Gang is kind of like a prototype of the Quark Sonic Drip Gang. Yeah, pretty much. And guys, remember, you gotta make good use of the boost and the drop dash. Uh -huh. If you're going on slopes, you gotta use the drop dash. Yeah, that's only if slopes going down. 
Uh huh. If if you're going on a slope that's going down, then you'll have to use the drop dash. But then on straightaways, you might have to use the boost. Yep, I'm moving to Lost Valley because Green Hill does not have enough experience orbs. Experience orbs. Green Hill doesn't have enough. Yep. But you know what will have enough? Hilltop. Hilltop will be packed. If Hilltop ever comes to the if Hilltop ever comes to the game, that is. Like, if like I think it will be like ten times bigger than it was before. Yeah. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And don't forget to ring the bell button too, so that you won't miss a video from the duo Sid Gamers. And also, watch our videos in full. Yeah, so that you will learn more about the stuff that we do and everything that we worked on. And also, if you like and subscribe, we, and also comment, we will heart your comments. If you comment on our videos, we will heart it. We will, we will give you a heart on your comments. Okay, so we're going. And, yeah. and now one of our friends joined. One of our friends joined. Yeah. And now it's pretty hard to level up. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of hard to level up in Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn. And the only one, it was like, like butter. It was like cutting off be a piece of butter. Literally, you could level up so fast. In the old Sonic Speed Simulator, I was like level 700. Uh-huh, but now you're 126. Yeah. And I bet by the time I'm level 700 again, I'm still going to be slow. You're still going to be slow? Like, not, not like as slow as a turtle, but still like at the minimum speed that Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn players are actually supposed to go. Uh-huh. And in the old Sonic Speed Simulator, everything was just so pay to win. And now they need even more pay to win. You have to buy the time trial? I mean, yeah, you can buy the Eggman boss fight, apparently, like, First, you have to buy the time trials with your rings. Now you have to buy a boss fight? Sega just wants us to spend all our rings. Aha, uh -huh, like what is up with it? Why is anything so painful in this game? I mean, the game is amazing, yes, but it's just a bit too pay to win for some reason. And the old Sox feature it was, it was already too pay to win. Aha, uh -huh. if you if you miss a character that you haven't gotten yet, you you would have to buy it for some reason. And wait, I just forgot. I, I need to equip some of my best experience child so uh -huh. then I can level up even faster. Okay. Got oh, oh, this one's this one's child. real good. Okay. I think you go. said detective child and the I command bus. Bye if you spill you. Uh, I think so. There's your popcorn child. Uh, no. And bro, 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 these no. experience levels are terrible. Even the Amy child is terrible. That is terrible. That is oh. terrible. 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 Okay, terrible. okay. I get it. Some of my child are pretty much useless. The Stealthy Chow though, the, that Chow, it only has 70 experience! Ah, uh, okay, let me see. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna equip my, I'm gonna equip my, one of my Time Keeper Chow, so let's see if this will, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow! You have to up way faster now! Oh, this is actually getting me somewhere! This is actually getting you somewhere! So yeah. guys, if you have really good experience chow, use those if you're stuck on the 
a Stronger Together quest that Tails gives you in Lost Valley. You level up way faster now. Uh-huh, and if you want to level up even faster, you can equip some of your best experience gels and then you can level up. And I just saw you. Hi. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa! Oh, chill, whoa. Android Shadow. Chill. I got Oh, come on. Wait, why is Android Shadow doing Tales of Tales Quest if he was kidnapped by Eggman? Maybe this is a different version. A well, okay. type Android a copy, Shadow. A copy version. A copied version. It would take a long time for Tails to make a copy version of an Android Shadow. Tails didn't make the Android Shadows. Eggman did. Remember? Android, Eggman made another Android Shadow? What? He has like four versions. Four versions? Actually, no, five. Five versions? Oh, because it's Shadow 2005. Guys, I recommend you go play that game. Yeah, because it's terrible. The Shadow of the Hedgehog game is Garbo, absolute trash. Trust me, you do not want to play that game. Uh-huh, it is down. Right, garbage. Uh-huh. You do not like, want to play that game. Because it's that game, like there were multiple Android shadows. Yeah, and apparently Shadow had his own weapon for some reason. I don't know what Sega was thinking. Uh huh. Okay, let me let me see if I can do like the glitch that people can do in like you can glitch into Arsenal Pyramid. Okay, yeah. So there's an invisible wall here. So what do you have to? I just go around. If I can go around to see. Yeah, but you have uh, to. But you have to equip your tornado drill part at the right time. Yeah. Just like time to parry. Yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Hey, hey, let me out. Okay, okay I'm gonna. Be oh, come on! I no, 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 let me out. You'll have to reset your character. Oh, yeah? Come on, yes, yes. Okay, I made it. Getting on top of the pyramid. How the pyramid be much longer. I mean, he was taller. Yeah. In the old songs, it was like so short. It wasn't even like a pyramid. But now this is the true arsenal pyramid. Uh-huh. I know and we'll have, look at that speed. I wonder if we can go inside it. Like, I, I know we can only go inside, but I wonder if there will be an update where we can actually go inside the arsenal pyramid. I wonder if the arsenal pyramid will be an actual world because inside of forces they made arsenal pyramid an actual world so if they managed to make arsenal pyramid an actual world inside of speed simulator reborn i will be dumbfounded i will literally be so shocked like and i'm wondering what it will even look like if they if they even come up with the idea of making Arsenal Pyramid an actual world. Will it look like the one from Solid Forces? Nah, I don't think so because if we go, because there can't be like two Arsenal Pyramids. No, I think there's gonna be a boss fight area. Uh, it could be. I mean, like there's a symbol on the ground that says that Android Shadow plus Hollow Metal Sonic equals Shadow. Equals Shadow, apparently. And so Shadow was on that billboard in the old Sonic Speed to later. Yeah. The Eggman and Eggmobile meant the boss fight. Could. Yeah, so. Oh, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And ring the bell, too. Yeah, so. The Eggman symbol and the Eggmobile symbol meant that a boss fight was going to be coming, and we already have Android Shadow and Hologram Metal Sonic, but so but we still haven't got Shadow. So all's left is Arsenal Pyramid and Shadow. 
So does this mean that we're gonna get like two updates in one? Two. This could be the next big update. This could be the big update. I mean, Android Shadow was big enough, but yeah, but this is even better. Aha. Uh -huh. And guys, yeah, actually comment down below what you think is the best update that has ever come to Sonic Speed Simulator. If, is it, is it the Hologram Metal Sonic event? Android Shadow event? The brand new revamp for Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn? Is it anything actually? Oh, hey, hey, saw you. Ah, Bye. I'm chasing. I'm going. You're chasing. Not anymore. Hey, no. Come back. Meow. Meow. Come back here. Later. Woo. Now, so the thing is. We already have almost all the things that the billboard said that we would have. Like the road map that we got from the Android Shadow event. So Shadow is definitely coming to Speed Simulator because if we have Android Shadow, why wouldn't you think that we are going to get Shadow himself? We're going to get him, just not now at least. But hopefully next week, we will get Shadow. Hopefully, and if we do, like literally, servers are going to be filling up in Sonic Speed Simulator uh -huh. Reborn. Every server will just be flowing. Uh -huh. I'm just be flowing, but i flowing, flowing. <laughs> wow, you had to make that <laughs> reference song from Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, and yeah. Speaking of Sonic Frontiers, guys, we've released two new re we have released three new videos of me of me and me, me and my little brother doing some stuff in Sonic Frontiers. The uh, first one is me and my little brother beating beating our very first Titan, which is Giganto. And the next one, we moved on to Ares Island and defeated Strider. And the last one, we had to go for Shark. So if you guys haven't watched those yet, you can go over to our channel. Go over to our channel and see those. And if you want to play Sonic Frontiers for yourself, just go down the video, and click, buy it, and then, and then you can play for yourself. Yeah, but that's only in like the Sonic Frontiers videos. Hey, I've reached uh, uh, level 130, so I only need like. 20 more levels or something. Oh boy, and how do you get under there? I don't know. Go here. But the thing is, this game is astounding. Like, literally, the devs of Sonic Speed Simulator have spent five whole months working on this update. They have been testing it working on it, editing stuff, creating new stuff for the game. It's been a hassle for them. So if you guys really want, if, if you guys really want to thank them for their work, you can play Sonic Speed some way to reborn for yourselves. Um, um, in the old Sonic Speed Simulator, all the obbies were gone. Sin City Obby. Since the Sin City Obby, was a new obby. It, it, the other obbies were already in the game. Oh. I mean, yeah, it is an obby, and it's based off of RB Battle. Uh huh. The creepies actually play RB Battles. Yeah. And um, RB Battles is is actually kind of a cool game. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, you can just go to Roblox. Type in RB Battles and you'll be able to find it. Uh huh. And the Cream Peas have been waiting so long for RB Battles Season 3. Yeah, so now back onto Sonic Speed Simulator stuff. So, this game 
is literally like the best game on Roblox now. Uh-huh. Well, oh uh, what? I wonder what the next side game's gonna be. Oh, so we had so people have been trying to figure out what the next Sonic game is going to be and so in Sonic Speed Simulator. No, what the next Sonic game is going to be like the Wait, next Sonic game. I just remembered something. There's e also R another code, e which is e a code for a badge. So e basically, e the code is Project e Sonic Project Shop. Shop. Redeem. I got 100 red star rings and I got rings. the badge, Code Breaker Badge. Let's go! Code Breaker. Wait, you got two badges. Uh, wait, what? You got two badges. How? Like, it said it had like two badges. Like, no. Two ba no, it did it. Okay. So, guys, if you, if you guys want to try that code for yourself, get into Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn and type that code in. The code is Project Sonic Shock and all in caps. You have to type it all in caps, and why is my game lagging? It's going like frame by frame. Okay, there. But guys, trust me, that code will give you a hundred red star rings. Why is it? Okay, that code please. will give you a hundred red star rings, and it will give you a, a code breaker bag. Now, Game Fam released like a little code thing on Twitter and they they said that people would have to like solve the code and that stuff do all those like random like sort of I don't know like sort of like people who do riddles and that stuff and if and if people find out what the code is they'll be able to type it in the redeem code in Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn, and they'll be able to get a hundred red star rings and the new Code Breaker badge that is in Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn. And in the old Sonic Speed Simulator, people have been spamming scans of oh, there's a secret way to get Shadow. Oh, use this code Shadow to get Shadow skin. It's just scam. The real Shadow is coming to Speed Simulator. And that's final. So if anyone is trying to scam people, quit it. The damage is done. You've done enough. Shadow's coming to, to the game. So there's no reason of you trying to tell people, oh, how to get Shadow in the game. There's no use of doing that. Shadow's already coming. He's not even he's not even officially in the game yet. Oh, uh, there was one scam? Like where you had to like Type of code shadow, and then and then it would say, oh, 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 redeem, oh, redeem. It's like the redeem works, and then you get shadow, and then it's just so scam. Ah uh ha! -huh. Oh hey, I see you. Bye. Oh wait, no, that, oh, wait, that, oh wait. no, that that's not you. <laughs> that's Whoops. a different player. Okay, just going over here. I think I'm gonna turn to Classic Sonic Poop Gang. Oh, you mean Classic Sonic? Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna stay as Android Shadow for now. He, like, this skin is just so cool. Uh-huh. When the real Shadow comes to the game, people won't be stopped scamming anymore. Uh-huh, hopefully. And when the real Shadow comes to the game, I will do anything to get him. If I had robots, I would even buy it! Uh-huh! But, since we are pro gamers, we will not buy the skin just because it's already there! Uh-huh! If, if you were doing a video of how to get the skin... You would not just buy it uh -huh. for no reason! Like, the, the people won't even watch it! Like, like, the view would just be like... One second! Like, three seconds or something! Uh-huh! If you got, if you want to make a good video, you have to do something and not just like be just paid to win or something. You just, you gotta 
do stuff, not just uh -huh. buy everything or something. I have heard this guy did you, which, which uses Roblox in every Roblox game he plays. Yeah, whoever that is, is not a good Roblox YouTuber. Uh huh, even buy stuff in Speech Layer. Yeah, if you guys are big fans of Sonic stuff and you want to show people how to do other things and you know how to play the game and that stuff you don't just tell them to like buy robux and then just spend all your robux on every every game pass and every thing in speed simulator that's not how the game works uh-huh that is not how the game works the game works like this you have to progress find out what you're supposed to do in the game and then once you figure everything out, you just you just have to do everything right, try your best, level up, do all this, do do the quests that you can do, and just progress and do more progress with the game. That's the thing that what makes Sonic Speed Simulator so good. If you are a new player, you have to figure everything out. And even if you're already a pro player, it's still fun to play because because before in the old Sonic Speed Simulator, it was pretty much you pretty much had nothing to do. All like all you had to do was just play the game every Saturday just to get the new skin. But now it's different. Now you have a reason to play the game, like throughout the week, not just every Saturday. And in the old Sonic Speed Simulator, I didn't really play that much because there was basically, there was basically no point of playing it. Uh-huh. But now, there's actually, a, there's actually a point of playing the game throughout the week instead of just playing it every Saturday. I have heard of this game called Sonic Projector RP where you can make your own sprites. Aha! Uh -huh. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And ring the bell. Aha! Uh -huh. But seriously, this game has gone through a lot. Literally, it was it was boring before, and now they've just made it so good. In the old time season where I have played a game called Sonic World Chaos with this here parkour, I actually completed Sonic's story. Yeah, but trust me, I don't know if you would actually want to play that game. Uh huh, it's kind of boring now. Yeah, but you know what else is not boring? If you guys, if you guys want to know more about the Duo Sim Gamers and how we are so good at this game, you can watch more of our videos. And why are you just standing at that wall? I don't know. Staring at the wall. What is? Is Andrew Chow my today or something? Nah. I mean, Andrew Chow kind of like shuts down during his idle animation. Yeah, so I guess he's malfunctioning from going into that water. Yeah, but you know what's really weird though? Like, so you know how they added the wisps into the game? Uh-huh. They made them pretty much impossible to get. There was a trail called the, the Destruction Trail, which, which written in the really wide, but it was so hard to get. It was like, in the old times, it was like 1%. It was like a 1% chance. Well, then they raised it to 8%. But then they raised it to 8%, but now you can't really get that trail anymore. But I bet Red Ninja's really happy that he got that trail before it was gone. Uh-huh, he only got what? He only got the destruction trail once. Uh-huh, but you know what's even harder to get? The new wisps that are in the game. Literally, they made the wisps pretty much impossible to get in Sonic Speed Simulator Reborn. Shell Cut has like improved version of soap shoes. Not improved. They, he has rocket shoes. 
Yeah, that that you can real grind like soap shoes. Yeah, I guess. But that was fun, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And don't forget to ring the bell button so then you won't miss a video from the Duo Sim Gamers. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.